economy declined at a 2.9% annual rate in the first quarter. Those numbers from the Bureau of Economic Analysis show the weakest quarter for the U.S. economy since 2009. But economists aren't too worried. They say the nasty winter weather is responsible for much of that decline. So how's the inland northwest doing? Okay, XY4 is John Hendricks working for you tonight. And John, what'd you find out today? Nadine, I found out today that Spokane is actually doing pretty good. The unemployment rate within the county is at 6.7%. But I talked to some shoppers today, and they're a little leery about spending. When you walk through downtown Spokane, you notice something. More shopping bags leaving stores, but not at a rate before the recession. Shoppers are still holding on to that hard-earned dollar. I often overspend, go home and think about it <laughs> and come back and return, which is what I'm doing today. I think it's a good idea to be a little bit more conservative nowadays with your money. Shoppers may be more focused on what they're buying. This is one of the most popular spots in the store because of course we've got the trains. But inside Whiz Kids in the Riverfront Square Mall, business is good. There's some ups and downs, but sales are up in general and the traffic is up. Um, it's just it's really great. Mark Madkey, the CEO of the Spokane Area Workforce Development Council, says Spokane is doing all right. Spokane's actually doing okay right now. Um, for the first five months of the year, we're up about 2,000 jobs over the same period last year. He adds it's been a slow recovery, but our economy is so diverse that when one sector lags, others seem to pick up the slack. So we're lucky that way. We're insulated a lot of times from some of the ups and downs of the national economy. This is one of my favorites right here. Back at WizKids, more smiles are now leaving the store as Spokane continues its upward trend out of the recession. Now other businesses in the mall say they're doing good as well. Economists say consumer spending is tied to jobs. More jobs means more spending. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.